Good morning and welcome to our slope from an equation lesson. Um, if you have class with me to, uh, today, we're in the packet that I gave you, the note packet. We're on, oh, I don't know. Let's see what page. It would be the back of the first page. And we're going to start um, at the bottom where it says to find slope up from an equation, slope can be found using slope intercept form. Well, in order to start the lesson today, it would be helpful to know what slope intercept form is. Um, slope intercept form is a way that we write the equation, uh, any equation, so that it's easy for us to see the slope and the y intercept. So the format is this y equals mx plus b. Now realize that m and b we're going to replace with numbers as we go, and those numbers are going to represent the slope. So m, whatever number is next to our x, is going to be the slope. And b, the extra number, is going to be what we call the y-intercept. Okay, and then the y and the x, um, those will be changing values of ordered pairs as we go through. So what we want to do today is focus on identifying the slope, and we'll do the y-intercept in a later lesson, but we want to identify the slope from equations. Now, the key is that in order to identify the slope, it has to be in this format um, where y is alone on one side of the equation. Generally, we have the y alone on the left side of the equal sign, but it can be alone on the right side too. Okay, so the nice thing is, if it's already in this format, there's really no work to be done. You just simply look for the letter or the number next to x. So y equals, great, that's already a good start, 3x minus 9. Since the 3 is next to the x and the y is alone on the left side, we can simply say the slope equals 3 because it's the one next to x and y is alone. Okay, how about this one? y equals negative 4x plus 5. Again, you have to check. Is the y alone on one side of the equal sign? It sure is. Okay, so then our negative 4 is next to x, so the slope is equal to negative 4. Now, is it going to remain this easy, you might ask? And the answer is no, unfortunately not. So if you turn the page, if you have the packet with me, or if you don't, you can write down this next example. Um, example three is where it does get a little bit more challenging, and that is um, an example like this. If you have 2x plus y equal 8, it is not in slope-intercept form because y has this 2x on the same side of the equal sign as it, and we have to get it in slope-intercept form first then we can identify the slope. Okay, so in order to do this, I'm going to rewrite it so that I can rearrange some things. So 2x plus y equal 8. So the one that we want to be by itself on one side of the equal sign always for this is going to be y. So this one right here, we need it to be alone on this left side. In order to get it alone, 2x has got to go. Um, and if you remember, when we were solving equations, in order to get something to the other side of the equation, we do the opposite. So the opposite of positive 2x would be negative or minus 2x. Well, we can do that as long as we do it over here as well. So we cancel it out there. So our equation in slope-intercept form is y equal 8 minus 2x. Now y is alone, and we have to look for the number next to the x, which in this case is 2. But the minus sign is going to go with the 2, making our slope not positive 2, but negative 2. And that's our answer. Okay, let's try again. Um, and as we go, this gets more challenging. All right, so example 4, if you don't have the packet, go ahead and write it down on a sheet of paper. Uh, 4x minus 2y equal 10. We're going to write that in slope-intercept form, then identify the slope. Okay, so again, 
In this case, we want y to be all by itself, okay? And so um, it's got a 2 with it right now, and it also has a 4x, and it's actually a negative 2. So um, again, it's like solving equations. So 10 is already on the other side. So we don't have to bother with the 10 right now, but we do have to get out 4x and this negative 2. So we'll start with the 4x since it's furthest away. The opposite of 4x, and I should rewrite this, so I will, 4x minus 2y equal 10. All right, the opposite of 4x would be minus 4x. So we can do that and cancel it. We're going to do it also on the other side. Now the other thing that has to get out of there is going to be this negative 2. Now remember that negative 2y means negative 2 times y. So to undo that, we have to divide by negative 2. And we now have to divide each of these terms on the other side by negative 2. Okay, so let's rewrite the equation. The only thing left on the left side is y. That's what we want. 10 divided by negative 2 is negative 5. Now, this is a negative 4 because it has to go, the minus sign goes with the 4. Divided by negative 2 is going to give us positive 2, and there's our x. So now the y is alone, which is what we wanted. It's in slope-intercept form. So we look for the number next to x, and our slope is positive 2. All right, there is one more example on there, which I will do with you. And it is write negative 3x minus y equal negative 8 in slope-intercept form. And then identify the slope. Okay, so this one, the reason I threw this in the notes is because you'll notice that y does not have a number in front of it, but it does have a minus sign. So it, you might recall from earlier lessons that if there's not a number, but there is a minus sign, there's actually a hidden one. So we want to start by writing that in, okay? And so let's do this again. I'm going to rewrite it so that I have room to cross out what I need to cross out. All right, so we need y to be alone. So negative 8 is already on the other side of the equal sign. So we need to start furthest away from the y on this side, which would be the negative 3x. So the opposite, to undo that, we would add 3x, cancel it. Then we have to add 3x over here. Okay, now we need to get out this negative 1. And again, this means negative 1 times y. So to undo that, we will divide by negative 1. That means we have to divide each of the terms on the other side by negative 1. Now, we get y. That's all by itself on the left side. Great, that's what we wanted. Negative 8 divided by negative 1 would be positive 8. And then this is now a positive 3 divided by negative 1. is going to give us a negative 3. We can write it down as a minus 3 and put the x back on. Okay, so y is alone, meaning this is now in slope-intercept form. We look for the number next to our x, so our slope this time is going to be negative 3. Okay, hopefully you find that helpful in identifying the slope um, and changing equations into slope-intercept form. If you have any questions, please email me. If you are in my class, the assignment that goes with this would be the slope from equations worksheet. Okay, hopefully everyone has a great day, and I will see you in the next video.